there's been a big push in the corporate director community towards value beyond compliance. Right. And and when you really look at that value, it's created through strategy and the board of directors feeling truly responsible for strategy. And it's not just strategy, as we were saying in this interview, directed towards profit and profitability. It's strategy mm-hmm. directed towards the full interests mm-hmm. of the business. Over but it's a very, term. over the long term, and it's a very yeah. different mindset than simply looking after compliance. And it's one of my greatest fears right now around a lot of the climate and ESG disclosure that is being rolled mm-hmm. out is that it's pushing corporate directors back into a role that they've been trying to get out of. And that is that heavy compliance-based response. And Mm -hmm. Alison, I can tell you, after spending a lot of time on boards of directors, there's a funny human tendency when you're facing compliance that you just do it and focus on it. And you know, rub your hands and say, "I yeah. it's done, and I made I made a real contribution today." Right, check the box. Yeah, and mm-hmm. and meanwhile, if you ask them what the strategy is of the organization, a lot of them can't really describe it. That's and right. so that that's that's a concern I have about this kind of this tsunami of disclosure requirements that seem to be coming. Uh, right. that I think have been they've been resisted more in the United States, uh, mm-hmm. but uh, yeah. I, so I, I wanted to note that. Right. Thank you for that, Mac. We definitely see uh, a heavy hand there uh, from the regulatory perspective, and that's something to keep in mind. Thank you. Okay.